Alexander III of Macedon, more commonly known as Alexander the Great, was among the most successful, influential, and greatest military commanders in history. Born in the city of Pella in 356 BC, the capital of the, the Kingdom of Macedon. He was the son of King Macedon, Philip II, and his mother Olympus, who was from Epirus. Because of this, Alexander was only half Macedonian. His father, Philip, was assassinated in the summer of 336 BC by the captain of his bodyguards, Pausanias, while attending the wedding of his daughter, Cleopatra, to Olympia's brother, Alexander I of Epirus. Philip had been responsible for reforming the Macedonian army into the deadliest force of its time, developing his infantry phalanx, cavalry, siege equipment, and logistics systems. Alexander was proclaimed king immediately following the assassination at just the age of 20 and would inherit his military and the throne of Macedon. Upon inheriting the throne, Alexander would consolidate his power by eliminating potential rivals to his power, including his cousins and two Macedonian princes who were both executed. He also quashed rebellions for independence in northern Greece. Following the consolidation of power, Alexander would proceed on a decade-long campaign of conquest. His first major battle was against the Persians at the Granisius River in May 334 BC, before defeating the Achaemenid Empire and overthrowing its king, Darius III, at the Battle of Isis in 333 BC. Alexander's forces were greatly outnumbered in men, but through shrewd and ruthless military traits, Alexander was able to defeat Darius, and Darius would flee with what remained of his troops. Alexander would then turn his attention to the Phoenician cities of Marathus and Aridus in 332 BC. Alexander would lay siege on Tyre on a fortified island. Alexander managed to defeat Tyre by first blockading and besieging Tyre for seven months and then by building a causeway that would allow him to breach the city's fortifications. Following the conquest of Egypt, Alexander faced Darius at the Battle of Gargamala in October 331 BC. Following the heavy losses, Darius fled and was later assassinated by his own troops. The Achaemenid dynasty would essentially die with Darius. Alexander would adopt Persian customs and would proclaim himself king of Persia as well as Macedon. He continued pushing further east to Punjab in India in 327 BC. Alexander would march on Punjab. Some tribes surrendered peacefully to his armies, others didn't. With Alexander meeting King Porus of Porova, meeting King Porus of Porova at the Hydaspes River. The Battle of Hadespes was fierce, with Porus utilizing war elephants in the battle. Even so, Alexander was able to defeat him. Following this battle, Alexander wanted to continue marching on to invade the rest of India, but his army was war-weary and refused to take further and mutinied, and demanded to turn back. Alexander was convinced to do so by his senior officers, and Alexander led his troops down the Indus River and was severely wounded during a battle with, with Mali. Following this, Alexander sent half his troops back to Persia and his other half, the other half to Gendrosia. During his military campaigns, Alexander would never lose a battle, but he would die at the age of only 32 in 323 BC at Babylon. The cause of his death has been debated and remains a mystery. His death would lead to the unraveling of this empire, the largest in history at its time, with bloody and fighting the empire that Alexander had spent his whole life building would soon fall apart. Alexander's legacy continued on through the centuries and he is marveled as one of the great generals and conquerors of all time. Thank you for watching and enjoy this. Subscribe for more.